Hey guys, welcome to Clucko at Dan to Needles for another breakdown of solo leveling episode number nine. I am so sorry it's been delayed. I have finally returned to the UK. I got back 10 hours ago and I jumped straight on to doing your video. So hopefully you guys can forgive me. Today's video is awesome. It also covers a lot of philosophical topics. We'll go through a few. I'll get my thoughts on the episode. I thought the episode this week was very unique. In about a week's time now, you're going to have my spring overview. I'm going through the spring anime coming our way. Let you guys know what I'm interested in. What am I watching? What do I plan to do a breakdown of on the channels? We're doing that in a slight different form where I'll be using the avatar Iona just to go through that and do that in a slightly different manner just because it normally takes quite a long time to put together but I think this time around I've got an idea of how I can do it seamlessly with it being interesting and also taking a bit less on the energy front but very excited to bring that to you guys and it does also mean in a few weeks time we're going to have the end of season really shocked that is down to the last few weeks of the season and I'm very excited to see what the shows are going to give us how they're going to end because especially with something like solo leveling at where each episode seems to build on the last which is also ironic because that's exactly what Jin says like I get stronger with every episode pretty much it does feel like we're building towards something I just can't imagine what we're going to end on as a good cliffhanger because I think they would do a cliffhanger on this show maybe he's going to come face to face with an S class and then that's going to cut so you don't know what's actually going to happen let's dive straight into it i am very glad that Jin wasn't hiding his powers he wasn't hanging back so he is taking it chill with an, a dagger he's not being flashy he's not hanging back he's not trying to hide things and keep up the charade because i didn't think that would really work out you can see that he does struggle because he can't even explain where the dagger comes from people must be thinking things but they're also not going to be saying things as well which i'd probably be the same thing i have thoughts but i'm going to keep them to myself now last week i did mention the voice actor for kang and i even said that i really like him i thought his design was really really cool and yeah he is kind of hot but i did forget that i have a curse now if you've been around the show long enough and you've heard me discussing this little curse you wouldn't know what's coming if you don't i will explain it to you so if i find a random character suddenly really hot or i think they're good looking i think their design is awesome without even putting the va in the picture generally it means that character's going to a die b be evil it's one of the two there's no in between and as soon as i found out the voice actor was uchiyama i realized it was the latter i realized he was going to be the villain for this next episode and that that isn't a spoiler that is just a tried and tested method that has never failed me if i suddenly go that character is cool i like the look of them and i haven't done anything yet they are gonna die they're gonna be evil this character is a interesting one evil character who is disguising himself in a sense the association front has been poached a few times if i remain an associate i might be able to get away with doing more of what i really want to do and of course this guy is a bit of a psychopath who doesn't seem to like humans very much i mean he actually enjoys killing what Jin has been forced to do especially in the later episodes where he's had to take up his arms against another human being it's very interesting that he comes face to face with someone who is pretty nicely matched and i would say the fight is really nice because they're actually on the same level and we've seen how much Jin has gone through to be the level he is so when it comes to the fight with kang i'm like oh this is actually really really nice and it's nicely handled i love the cuts as well there's multiple cuts of the angles going on paid to kill the prisoners initially i thought he was just gonna use the prisoners to turn them on them or see what would happen my initial thought was they were gonna turn on the guys obviously try and wipe them out because they were slightly higher than most of them and kang would be like oh i'm testing this guy who i'm suspicious of i i thought he was suspicious of Jin. doesn't seem that is the case when he finally works out who he is he's like oh you're the guy in the hospital when did you have your awakening type situation he didn't recall who he was until later so he wasn't forced to kill them i think that wasn't the initial plan the initial plan wasn't to trick Jin into behaving or which is what i thought i actually did think that he was going to trick him into using his powers and be like ha i knew it you have got an awakening you are powerful you're hiding your skills kind of thing i guess it kind of also works is that both jay hey and sung the ones who do witness him going ott with his new powers they are technically allies so i'm glad that it's not game over completely but i do think the a ranker is suspicious at the end but let's talk about the lighting in the sequence where kang accepts the bribe but i don't think he takes the money i think he just does it because he wants to do it i love the lighting i love the fact that they bring in the shadows as well because a lot of this episode centers around the idea of shadows and where your strength kind of comes from and i just 
love it. It sounds like a bit of a Batman quote when he talks about how long somebody's shadow is. And it reminds me of the, the uh, Moulded by Darkness quotes, which is why I'm definitely using that in the thumbnail. I like the idea that your strength comes from where your shadows have gone and it's as dark as what you've been through. And I love the fact that he says it must be stretching really long. You should be careful because the longer you look into that abyss, the more that abyss is going to start looking back. We keep seeing the eyes in the, the, the darkness effect they used on Kang, which looked like sand as he was melting away. Similar to what we've been seeing with our boy Jin, it looks like clouds of darkness. I think it's this very, very dark purpley effect coming off him. And occasionally we keep seeing these eyes coming out of darkness, which makes you think there's something there. And when he says, I'm losing a grip, on something within me it does make me think that there is something within him that might awaken at some point and whether it is just a case that he's losing grip on reality and morality starting to go out the window because i'm losing touch of what's actually happening i am very curious to where the anime is going to go philosophically i took philosophy for all three years as the tutor used to say, you can't be right or wrong as long as you back yourself up, which was always a fascinating one when you're writing an essay. But I do want to know where this anime is going. And I think this anime is trying to cover some philosophical bases, which would be very interesting. How this is affecting, of course, our boy. It does seem like he's still keeping hold of some shred of humanity and he's trying to keep his balances. Like He's not going to turn into Kang. I think today's episode is showing you what could happen with Jin if he did lose that touch equal builds pretty much they're both assassin builds as he calls it they've both got that murderous intent kind of effect where they one's bloodthirsty the other one can definitely see where he is kang could be Jin if Jin is consumed by the darkness and i like that little warning there because this guy is what you could become but every single episode we are definitely seeing our boy get stronger i did think it was a little ironic when kang says game over it made me suddenly go wait are you aware of what's going on? But it definitely doesn't seem to be the case because when Jin is rambling about the system, Kang doesn't know what the system is. There's a system going on, but people don't know who, what this system actually is. There's something there that at the moment, seemingly only Jin has access to. That's the big question. I think the burning question inside me is, is somebody else also using that system? Are there maybe S rankers out there who are using that system? Is there a reason why the S rankers are so strong? It's because maybe they also have access to the system. Is it just Jin who's being approached by these magical windows appearing in front of him? Lots and lots of things going into my brain. It's a lot of things to mull over, especially with this episode in particular, but I do love the awakening story now because we're able to kind of go with it. And I think we can definitely say, hey, I had the second awakening. This is how I'm gonna explain it all now he's able to have that fight with kang and i think sung and jay hey i think her name is they're not going to be ratting him out i mean i love the fact that our hero sung comes in and takes the rap but if i was that a ranker i would be sus we know that sung is strong but jay hey as well just just because you had the healer there i don't think it would have been enough to totally overpower the guy so i think if i was him i would be completely sus but i don't think he's aware of the other instances that include Jin just yet so it'll be interesting to see when that's eventually going to bite him because I think it is going to come around at some point I do want to know if we're gonna say anything about the awakening thing or we are actually going to keep that low I am still curious I think there's going to be a moment where Jin has to say something but very exciting to see where that goes I like the fight I will say the music this week is absolutely awesome of course it's my boy so I love it it's really really great I love the cuts during a sequence I love the using the voice bit where Kang throws his voice to just confuse him to where I am so it sounds like surround sound but actually you can't pinpoint where I am I love that effect I love the disappearing sound effect I thought that was really really cool I love the moment where Jin just effortlessly just moves his hand and it clangs against the dagger you can't even see where kang is but you can hear him and i love the effect so i think this week's fight was just mm, chef's gifts beautiful loved it because that effect as well when he moved the dagger and it hit against the force and you get the spark really really like it really nicely edited nicely handled so very good fight Every time there is a fight in the show, they definitely do their part to make it really stand out because this fight could have been similar to last week's where we're up against humans again. It could have been the same, but no, we're evenly matched. And then obviously he starts buffing up a little bit and then we've got the buff of the dagger with the, the poison that eventually starts to get to him because you can see it affecting his eyes. Really, really cool fight. Really like it. Now, the end little bit with Jay Hay giving him the crystal, being like, do you remember this? I don't think you stand a chance. And I'm so sorry, Jay Hay. You, you look really nice and I think you're lovely. And you're, again, traumatized by another dungeon going wrong. So I feel really bad for her. 
But I just don't think he's interested. I don't get the vibes that he's interested. So I feel really bad for her. I think it's going to end in a rejection because I don't know. I think our boy's very busy right now. I think he's got a lot on his brain. So I don't think the, the there's going to be any romance plot rearing its head anytime soon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys can forgive me for being a little bit late. My birthday was awesome. I enjoyed it. I did not get a tan though. So I will see you guys again very shortly within the week because your episode goes out on time this week. I will see you guys again soon. Bye, guys.